Hello, planner people. My name's Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome back to another video. It's nearing the end of April, so I'm back today with my bullet journal in hand, ready to get organized and prepared for a new month. That's right, it's time for my May Plan With Me video. I am super excited about May's setup because I'm gonna be using my brand new mermaid sticker collection to celebrate mermaid in my journal. If you like these spreads that I'm gonna set up today, don't forget that you can find all of the mermaid stickers in my sticker shop starting at just $3.50 on planningwithk.com, available in both physical and digital download form along with 50 other theme sticker collections. This is one of my favorite themes I've ever created, and it was my first time designing characters as a part of one of my sticker collections, so I'm really stoked for you guys to see how I'm gonna use them to set up all of my May spreads today. So let's just jump right in and start off with my May cover spread. I'm gonna be using my watercolors a lot through this entire setup today, and the watercolor ended up being one of my favorite parts. I feel like it just paired really perfectly with my mermaid theme. So I chose a bunch of colors that match the stickers that I'm gonna be using later on. So it's basically just a bunch of pinks, purples, and a little bit of dark blue in there. As usual, the watercolors I'm using are from the Kuratake Gonzai Tombi set that I have linked in the description down below. And the color numbers I used here starting at the bottom are number 38, 13, 37, 14, 12, 139, and finally number 66. So I'm starting off on this cover spread with all of the watercolor. I created a large watercolor splash on the left page, and then on the right I painted in a May 2022 header along with a watercolor frame around that entire page. Creating watercolor pieces like this in my journal is always such an enjoyable and relaxing process for me, and I was setting this up during a live stream as well on a really nice, chill Saturday. So all in all, I had a really lovely time setting up all of these spreads, and looking back at this cover spread already is bringing me a lot of joy. With my May header completed, I'm going to finish up the right side with a quote, and I decided I would take all of my quotes for this setup from the song Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. So this first quote says, We got no troubles, life is the bubbles under the sea. And yes, don't worry, I am going to make sure to sing every lyric throughout this video. <laughs> Now finally, I'm finishing this cover spread off by sticking in a bunch of my Mermaid Pal stickers all over the left page, and I just really love how this turned out. These mermaid illustrations are really special to me. I'm just really proud of them. I love all the different body types and genders, skin colors, and personalities. They were so fun to draw, and they all look so beautiful together here on this page. With those decorative stickers laid in, that is it for my May cover spread, and time to get to setting up my functional spreads in my May bullet journal setup, starting off, of course, with my May calendar. I have a lot of different events and deadlines coming up in May, so I'm creating a big calendar that fills up almost this entire spread, so that way I have plenty of room to keep track of all of my different obligations this month. Each day here gets a box that is six spaces wide by six spaces tall, and I'm using these little number circle stickers to date my calendar, and these are from a Patreon exclusive sticker sheet. As usual, the link to my Patreon is in the description below if you ever want to check that out. Next, I'm using some weekly headers from the Mermaid Monthly Kit to label the columns of my calendar, and that's going to finish up the calendar itself. I'm now gonna create a header at the top of my spread, first just sticking in this big underwater scene from that same monthly kit, then trying out one of these monthly header stickers right on top of that. In the remaining blank space, I'm gonna stick in this really serene looking mermaid who's sitting with her hands out with a few seahorses swimming towards her. And I ended up not really liking how that black header was looking, so I switched it out here for a hand-lettered May header, just using a dark blue Crayola Super Tip. Now that my calendar is done, I'm going to take my scissors out and create a Dutch door here by cutting off all of the blank space on the right side of this spread. I'm going to use this column that's sticking out just as a decorative sidebar, sticking in a big vertical sticker from the monthly kit, and I think this is my favorite sticker in this whole collection. I'm finishing this page off with another Under the Sea lyric down at the bottom, and this one goes... Darling, it's better down where it's wetter, take it from me. 
And with that, I'm gonna focus my attention to the inside of my Dutch door now. This inside section is gonna be the home for a monthly bill schedule and a general notes section that is basically just a catch-all space for anything that I may need to jot down throughout the month of May. I'm creating a couple of headers at the top of the page using my watercolor once again, and I really love how these negative space splashes ended up turning out. Keep in mind too that if you want to give something like this a try but you don't want to use watercolor, you could totally create something similar with markers, highlighters, or even just a regular pen. On the left, I'm creating my bill schedule by sticking in a number strip from the Mermaid Functional add-on sticker sheet, and this is where I'm gonna write in all of my bills for the month, highlighting them once they're paid. I'm finishing this spread off with a big pastel watercolor box on the right for my notes section, and I'm writing in my headers at the top with that same blue Crayola marker. I also couldn't help but add in a little extra decorative detail, so I put in this adorable dolphin sticker right at the bottom to finish it all off, and that is it for my main May monthly calendar spread, Dutch door and all. Moving right along, I'm gonna create a habit tracker next, which is gonna help me keep up with my personal and professional goals this month. If you watched my last plan with me video for April, you may remember me talking about how I'm using the new season, the coming of spring, as a time to check in with my goals for the year, refocus my motivation, and just in general, a time to create positive change that's gonna help me get out of my winter slump. And one of the changes I've made with my journaling to help with these goals is returning to monthly habit tracking. And this small calendar format has been working really well for me throughout this last month. For my nine habits this month, I painted in nine watercolor splashes, and after seeing how those colors turned out, I wanted to switch out that big header sticker at the top for a different one that matches the colors a little bit better. Now for the habit trackers themselves, I'm gonna use my favorite stamp that I own right now, which is this adjustable calendar stamp. This makes this setup so quick and easy, which I really appreciate because if I didn't have this stamp, I would definitely be discouraged from setting up this type of habit tracker as I really hate having to write in the dates over and over again. I'll be sure to link the stamp I'm using down below in case you wanna give it a try, along with all of the other supplies that I'm using for this entire setup. The habits that I'm gonna be focusing on in May are working out, drinking water, and not drinking alcohol, a tracker for checking in with my self-care tracker, which I'll be making next, a reading tracker, and one for my journaling. And lastly, I have three professional habits, which is marking off when I have a work day, when I answer my emails, and when I ship out shop orders. On the right side of the spread, I'm gonna create my self-care bingo tracker, which has been a really lovely new addition to my journaling since last November. And it's a page that I always really look forward to using each month now. Each square on my bingo card is five spaces wide by five spaces tall. And I'm gonna fill these in with 24 different self-care items that I can cross off throughout the month. This page is a really great reminder throughout the month to just give myself these little self-care moments. And every time I get to color in a box, it's also a chance to celebrate that self-care, which I personally really appreciate. Some examples of the self-care items that I wrote in are cooking a new recipe, stretching, FaceTiming a friend, cuddling with my cat Luna, drinking some water, getting dressed up, and spending some time in the sun. And fingers crossed that there's actually sun coming up in May because the April weather here in Portland has been awful, just super rainy and gloomy, and I am really ready for some warmth. So fingers crossed over here. With that, all of my May trackers are set up and it's time to move on to the next spread, which I'm calling my monthly overview spread. This spread is gonna have two separate sections, one for keeping track of monthly memories and another for my monthly media, things like books, movies, shows, and podcasts that I read, watch, and listen to during the month of May. So I created a big header along the whole top of the page using two big mermaid scenes and a little monthly overview sticker from the monthly kit. And I'm now painting in headers for those two sections along the left side of the spread. At this point in the setup, I was fully obsessed with the watercolor. So I'm basically just going to cover the rest of this spread in pastel watercolor boxes. A bunch on top, which are gonna be blank spaces to write in my memories for the month 
and then three larger boxes on the bottom for books, movies, and any other media that I consume in May. And I'm also writing in my headers on the left with that dark blue Crayola super tint marker again. I really love how these watercolors blended together throughout this entire setup, and I know that when I was setting this up live, people were requesting a whole sticker collection based on these watercolor splashes. I really love that idea, so I'm definitely keeping that on my list of new sticker collections for the near future. If you guys have any other suggestions for new sticker sheets you'd love to see, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I love getting a sense for what you guys want to see next, and I always take your suggestions into account when I'm choosing new themes or new stickers to create. This next page that I'm setting up is going to be my May live stream schedule, which is a separate calendar where I keep track of the seven live streams that I do every single month on my Patreon. I'm using a calendar sticker in purple to match this mermaid theme. And a little tip for dealing with small stickers is to use tweezers. It makes it so much easier to see what you're doing and to precisely place your sticker exactly where you want it. And that's exactly what I like to do when I'm using these little number stickers for this calendar here. Below the calendar, I'm gonna place in a mermaid affirmation sticker that I really love. This is from that Patreon only sheet I mentioned earlier and it says, I am doing my best and that is enough. In case you're wanting to get access to this Patreon only sheet, all of the digital sticker files from this mermaid theme along with more than 20 other past sticker collections are all posted to my Patreon feed and you instantly get access to all of those if you join the $30 Patreon tier. Now to finish off my live stream schedule, I'm just using my watercolors again to paint in a header at the top of the page, along with a little frame around the calendar as a finishing touch. All right, so that was my last monthly page that I needed to set up. So I'm gonna finish this spread off with a decorative quote page. And you guessed it, it's another under the sea lyric. This time I'm using this decorative printable that you can find on Patreon under the $1 tier. I just printed that out on sticker paper, peeled the backing off and stuck it right in for an easy instant background. Now I'm using my three Crayola markers to letter in my lyrics, and here we go, one last sing-along. This one says, Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. There's wonderful things around you, what more are you looking for? So with that quote page finished, that is it for this final monthly spread, and on to the last pages of this setup, which is going to be my first weekly log for the month of May. My weekly logs are an essential part of my bullet journal routine as it's where I keep track of all of my daily to-do lists. And I like to set myself up at the beginning of the month by getting my first weekly spread all set up and ready to go ahead of time. So here I'm creating my weekly for May 2nd through 8th, starting off with my main header along the top of the page. Each day this week is gonna get its own box and each one is 12 and a half spaces wide by 16 spaces tall, essentially dividing the spread up into eight equal size boxes. I'm gonna label the days of the week with these adorable mermaid scale weekly headers from the functional add-on sheet, which fit perfectly at the top of these daily boxes. The eighth box here is gonna be just a little extra decorative section for me, but you could easily use this as a functional addition to your spread, like as a bill tracker, an event list, a spot for general weekly goals and tasks, or maybe a gratitude log for the week. There are infinite ways that you can customize these layouts to work better for you, so definitely don't be afraid to try mixing it up a little bit. To add some more mermaid decor to this spread, I came up with a new fun way to use these circle stickers from the monthly kit, which was by cutting an angle into them so that they could poke out from the corners of my boxes. I ended up loving the look of this and how I was able to add so many of my mermaid pals to the page while still leaving plenty of room for my to-do lists, and it created a little empty space for me to stick in the dates using my grayscale number stickers. With that, I just have a couple extra details, firstly another mermaid affirmation sticker in that empty watercolor space and this one says I am worth the best things in life and finally some bullets for my task lists using a Crayola marker again that is it for this weekly spread and I'm officially all ready for May in my bullet journal I am so beyond thrilled with how this setup turned out and I hope you guys got some ideas and inspiration from it as well. This mermaid theme is one of my favorite themes I've ever created. I'm so proud of the sticker collection. And again, if you wanna try out any of the stickers I used today, they are all available for purchase in my sticker shop. 
planningwithk.com in both mailed physical form and instant digital download printable form. And you can also gain access to tons of digital stickers, printables, live streams, and automatic sticker deliveries on my Patreon. I'll have my shop and my Patreon linked down below along with all of the supplies that I use today. And if you want to keep up with all of my bullet journal spreads and shop releases, you can follow me on Instagram at Planning with K. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and press the notification bell if you want to be sure to catch my next upload. I also want to give a special thank you to all of my patrons who are supporting me this month. I'm currently working on a coffee theme for my April patrons, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, you may want to consider checking out my Patreon and joining before the month is over. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, happy planning, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!